Good afternoon guys. Uh, so uh, in this video, uh, we'll talk about uh, VBA program. We'll create a loop and uh, I actually, um, I'm going to tell you uh, this thing uh, that you, if you have a numbers in your sheet and uh, some of the numbers are stored as text, like for example, you see that these icons, uh, if you click on these icons, it says that convert to numbers. So what is happening is uh, you have some numbers in the text format and you have some numbers as a number format which is exactly which should be the case so uh, this question was put up uh, in one of my classes actually and uh, this was a real scenario you know when the student actually asked me this question so I really liked the idea and I really like this you know puzzle so we thought that you know why not to go ahead and uh, share this with my all the student uh, ex student subscribers and even you know people who are watching for the first time so the idea is to uh, make you know these non text items as bold okay so what we want is uh, numbers which are stored as number for example these are the numbers and let me tell you exactly what I mean if I use this function here is number and if I select this and I you know drag this you see that in few cases I'm getting here false now the reason being because they are stored as text now you may ask me that you know on what uh, situations uh, you have this uh, number stored as text right so this happens when you generally uh, you know uh, import your data from the text files or import your data from MS access SQL server or from any other data source be it CSV file so it happens sometime data actually changes its uh, you know property and uh, so when text is going to change its property it doesn't affect because text is always a text right but sometime it happens the numbers they get their property changed as you know text now you see that this can create a lot of problem for you uh, for example uh, just just I mean a very small example uh, let's say you have here employee IDs right and uh, so I have created this uh, as a text and I'm going to here enter here as a marks let's say this is a marks now over here if I use this VLOOKUP function now you might be thinking that you know I hope that you are aware of this VLOOKUP function this is a lookup function which we use to get the values by linking your table with the primary table now you see ideally I should I should have got here marks you know for this employee ID, but I'm not getting here because of the fact that this if you do this test this equals to this this will come as a false which means that this is not exactly this however they look like same right but this is more of a text if, if you do this is text this function will give you true if you do is text on this on this value it will say false right so that's why you know it is very much important for you to have your values not stored as text in this particular example you know for example uh, it should be actually as a value so what we want to do is we want to do a you know kind of a test we want to run a loop that all those numbers which are not numbers they should be actually bold you can even color them that's entirely different thing right so we are going to prepare a loop uh, because this was uh, asked in a class so as I said you know the, uh, I like this idea so that's why I just thought you know go ahead and let me share the video with you so I'm going to now uh, prepare a sub and uh, let's name it uh, checking non-text entries okay so that's how I'm going to write this and it's going to be very simple code actually and uh, let me just close this so I can resize this all right so let's start with this uh, I'm going to select this sheet one and then I'm going to select select it and then I'll start my this the very cell from the range B1 so I'm going to select this B1 dot select right and now what we are going to do is we are going to run a loop so this time I'm going to run this loop let's say let's get this index as a variable we'll define this so we need to run this 12 times because I have data here you know 10 times uh, 12 times so this is how you write the for loop and uh, I'm going to declare a variable on the top of this which is index as let's say integer okay because index is going to have the whole number that's why I'm declaring this as an integer now what we want to do is uh, we want to uh, select the cell which is going to be my let's say row index 
and then the comma the column number would be 2 because it's B so let's select this and uh, over here I'll say that my row index is going to be 1 because I'm going to start from the very first row so I have to declare here row index as integer okay alright so now uh, what we want to do is we want to test our if condition if this cell is going to be my text so how, how are you gonna write this you'll go to the class of the worksheet function and over here you write the function called if this is going to be a uh, let's say text if this is uh, is text right so if this value is going to be text then what should happen then I should get the selection should be bold right you can even write the macro editor and you can if you want to color some any any specific value maybe if you want to give the red color you can just go ahead and uh, record the macro and see the what is the color of that co uh, you know uh, this red what is the code for the red color but this time I'm just looking for to make it bold so um, that's how I write in case if this not work then I'll use the macro editor that's a very good option given by Microsoft and I just love that option because you really don't have to remember the code if you have a strong concept uh, if, if you have a strong foundation you have a strong platform if you're strong on your concepts then you don't really require to you know remember all the codes you just need to know how the things work how the structure works rest of the things you can even google you can even write it somewhere on the notepad or maybe you know macro editor is the best option all right so uh, what we want to do is we want to write this in this cell I'm going to write this function here and I'll just close this and I guess we're good to go now right so if my text is if the value in my this cell row number is going to be text then it has to be bold otherwise what should happen otherwise else else I should be getting the increment in my row so that I can move to the next row that's quite simple okay this is going to be row index plus one right and over here after making this bold I need to move one cell down I'll just show you just have patience I know you might not be understanding this what is happening if you're getting it that's very nice and uh, at the end of the day we'll close the end if as well so we'll close it and uh, I'll just do some indenting so it looks nice and anyone who reads the code you know can understand what is happening so we are having this code and uh, let me just move this little here all right so guys uh, let's start the code and let's see uh, you will come to know what exactly I'm doing here why I'm incrementing, uh, incrementing this row index number one and why I have given this one here right and why I have not changed this two because we are going to work on the column two only so let's start this oh we have got our first error no problem let's see what's what's wrong uh, invalid qualifier okay all right so I think that's there is a problem in the structure and the problem is this instead of writing this dot value with this and then closing the bracket you know now I think that's that's nice now because you know is text is a function when you when you do this open parenthesis it asks for the argument one now in this argument one I'm writing this complete formula this one value and then I have to close the bracket just like you know you use the formula in Excel there's nothing new in the VBA it's the same concept open parenthesis and close parenthesis all right so we have started it now we will be on the sheet one just to ensure that I should be on the sheet one and the range b1 row index is going to be uh, one so that's the, my first row and now I'm going to run this 12 times because I have 12 values here uh, now let's see that what we have got here now row index number one and the comma two will give you what so let us try to add a watch just select this portion and add a watch so that you can see the value here all right so what value I have got here I've got in here three which is correct is it a text I don't think so it's a text so it should go to the else 
so definitely it has moved now now this time I'm going to increment the row because next time when I want then this you know this logic should be working on the next cell which is 6 that's why I'm going to increment this by 1 right so this time now you see that I have a 6 value here so obviously it will skip and now again it will run and this time now I have 3 and you can see here it is a text because if, now you see the quotes you know within the quotes it's there so selection font dot bold it is going to make it bold right so alright so we have some problem here I think uh, this has selected something else so uh, just give me a second I remember to we can even do this active cell dot font dot bold equals to true I guess this will also work right and uh, so let us just rerun this quickly all right so I know that uh, now this time I'm on three which is the row number three as I can see here row number three so in row number three I have this three which is which should be now going to be bold so you see that okay so now this is very interesting you know this is making this uh, different cell bold right and I, I think I know that why it is making the bold because you have said active cell so active cell will always be b1 because you started from here you know b1 the loop is running but the loop is running by keeping the b1 cell you know active in the memory so what you need to do is we need to do a slight change here uh, maybe we can do that cells row index and then the comma 2 and then you know this uh, we can make font dot bold equals to true right and uh, let us see if we are able to make it yeah right you see that now this 3 is bold here so I think now we are perfect and we can simply delete this so it's good too you know when you make the loops you, you come across these kind of things so you have to think a lot right so in this particular example I know we didn't really I mean think much but then again uh, sometime you have a terrible loops <laughs> and I'll upload some you know some of those videos and then you come to know that it really takes a lot of lot of you know hard work to prepare the loops but the best part is once you're through with the loop you can use them for the lifetime and you can even copy them and paste them you know paste that concept on other loops as well and it can make your life so easy alright so you see that even 8 is now going to be bold and it has made 8 bold now I will see 67 should be bold in the row number 9 and that's what it did you see here so that's how you know you can actually run this loop and now that's it so if I make this unbold again and now if I run this see what will happen in just fraction of seconds this code will run and this is going to bold these entries so you can do whatever you want you can even delete them you can even color them so I've just given you the example so this is how this code is actually going to work right so remember that if you have to change this maybe if you if you just want to work uh, if you if you let's say get some more values here and now this time what you want to do is you want to run this 17 times so you have to change this value right and then you can press F12 and then it will run and you will get all these values right so uh, I know uh, you might be asking that you know how you can make this dynamic so there are a number of ways to make this dynamic you can make it through the input box you can even uh, ask Excel to go ahead and you know check the last row for you and uh, so that's what you can do you can create a variable here last row and you can give this long because you might be on the 10 lakh row so from here what you do is you say that last row is equals to range B let's say 10,000 I'm saying uh, you can even increase it right that's your choice I, I know that there is no data behind uh, you know uh, uh, below this 17th row so that's why I'm just keeping it 10,000 maybe you can keep it 100 as well but generally you know you should uh, give the last uh, row in case if you're not sure because you might have some uh, entries in your table uh, some blank spaces and then some more entries and blank spaces so you can start it from even 10 lakh right so this is just for example so this is how I will move up and I'll get the row number and whatever the no row, row number will, uh, I'll get I'll put it here last row 
so that this is going to be normal dynamic. Now see what will happen. Let me just quickly unbolt this and let's enter some more values here. Ideally now this should run 25 times. So let's see how I'm going to run this code. All right, so sorry, sorry about this. F8, now see this last row is going to be 25. You see, it has already calculated. I didn't do anything, right? So it has started from the B100 and then it, you know, use this Excel up and then it reaches to the last row, which is called the 25 for me. So this 25 will now is going to pass on to this parameter. So this loop will run now 25 times and rest, rest, rest of the procedure you are already away. So I'm just going to press F5. And now let us see if we have got all the values here. Perfect. This is this 77 is covered as well, right? So similarly, if I delete this, and now if I run this code again, and I'll mix, let's say some text entries here, and I'm going to make this onboard. Let's see if we are going to run, if we are able to get this code or not. Yeah, we are able to get that. Reason, because when you press F8, you see that last row would be now eight which is exactly the case. So this code range B100 end Excel up. This is what exactly it is doing is it is going to the B100 here and then control up arrow. And then it is checking that, you know, which is the last cell. So even if you have some blank entries here, as I was telling you, if you're starting it from the last row, which is 10 lakh and you press this control up arrow, you'll go to the 14th row and then the loop is going to run for the 14 times. So these blank entries really not going to make any impact, you know, a negative impact on your code, right? So um, I hope you have liked this video. That, that was the video number 1616 for you. Go and watch all the videos and I have created a playlist as well. So you can, you will find this video for now on the VBA playlist, which is the VBA videos. And guys, I've started also a website uh, Excel last week we have started the website Excel VBA lover.com if you're looking for the training just go and watch this you know the all the training content on this website and there are a lot of videos over there according to the your uh, you know the topic right so if you go to my YouTube channel you will see that uh, I have uploaded so many videos over here uh, these are all the you know Excel uh, the VBA videos right so so far uh, let me just the time I'll not come with another video just stay fit thank you